like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl down your face when you're sleeping. What do you think life would have been like if the prehistoric, monstrous creatures were around today? Watch this video till the end to know about the shark whose bite force was about three times more powerful than the T-Rex, and a monstrous crocodile that made the crocodile look like a literal angel. Smile it on. Although commonly known as the saber-toothed tiger, it was not closely related to the tiger or other modern cats. Smilodon comes from the Greek word for blade or chisel and the Greek word for tooth. About 10,000 years ago, the Smilodon fatalis was a fearsome predator in what now is Western America. They were the most iconic Ice Age mammals in history. After analyzing hundreds of teeth, Paleontologists have painted a vastly different picture of this prehistoric terror, which could weigh up to 600 pounds and sported seven inch long canine teeth. The upper incisors were large, sharp, and slanted forwards. These teeth helped them in killing the prey by puncturing the vital areas of the neck and belly with their canines. Megalodon. Who doesn't know about Megalodon? The movie was enough to leave a terrifying mark in our minds. Believe me, if this lethal predator wouldn't have gone extinct, all the oceans would have been off limits for humans. This species of mackerel shark lived approximately 3.6 million years ago. While it is regarded as one of the largest and most powerful predators, scientists are kind of unsure about its appearance and maximum size. Most estimates of megalodon size estimate up to 46 to 67 feet in length, three times longer than the largest recorded great white shark. Estimates suggest that their large jaws could exert a bite force up to 24,400 to 41,000 pound force. Just imagine that. So aren't you glad this abominable shark isn't around anymore? Well, do you know how many people have claimed to glimpse it? Even Google Earth also called one. Sarcosuchus. Are y'all terrified of crocodiles or alligators? Cause man, they sure scare the hell out of me. They're cunning, unpredictable, cold-blooded killing machines. Now, just imagine a monstrous version of the crocodile. Yep, one existed in prehistoric times and lived around 113 million years ago. They're estimated to have reached between 29 to 31 feet in total length and 3.5 to 4.5 tons in maximum weight. There were 35 teeth on each side of the upper jaw, with the lower jaw consisting of 31 teeth on each side. If you're not convinced yet, listen to this. They were also able to eat a Tyrannosaurus if it came within range of its toothy and powerful jaws. Their modern day cousins look like angels in front of them. Thank goodness it went extinct. Otherwise, I don't think a human would have survived in their presence. Terror birds. Even the name is enough to invoke fear in the hearts of people. Imagine if ostriches were large, bloodthirsty, vicious killing machines. There you go, that's your terror bird. These are the extinct species of large carnivorous flightless birds that were once one of the largest species of apex predators in South America. Terror birds were found in the Cenozoic era, nearly 60 to 65 million years ago. They were about eight feet tall and weigh around 300 pounds. Terror birds were carnivorous predators and used their powerful bills to strike and kill their prey. With their massively developed legs, they were more than capable of chasing down prey but terror birds mostly preferred meat of already dead dinosaurs. So they were kind of like modern day vultures, except they weren't able to fly. Tyrannosaurus. Come on, you really thought we were gonna make a video on prehistoric animals and not include the fan favorite Tyrannosaurus Rex? Named as the tyrant king of lizards, this large theropod dinosaur was the most ferocious predator to walk on the face of this earth. The beast mainly lived in Western North America during the late Cretaceous period, some 68 million years ago. T-Rex was estimated to be 40 feet long and 12 feet tall, with weight lying between 5.5 to 8 tons. The head of a T-Rex was the real stuff of nightmares. It was optimally built for crunching through its prey, 
with the force of one bite delivering up to six tons of pressure. T-Rex was also proficient at finding its prey thanks to a keen sense of smell. Well, you knew that already. After all, we learned it in the Jurassic Park franchise, didn't we? Titanopoa. Meet the snake of your nightmare, the terrifying Titanoboa. Many people call it the T-Rex of the snakes. They could grow up to 42 feet long and reach a weight of 2,500 pounds. What? It was at the top of the monster eat monster food chain. It once lived in modern day Colombia, some 56 to 65 million years ago. These were non-venomous snakes like modern day anaconda, but much bigger in size. Some scientists think it killed by constricting its prey, while others argue that it behaved like an anaconda, lurking in the shallows and ambushing unsuspecting animals with a stunning blow. Plesiosaurus. Plesiosaurus was a huge marine reptile that existed around 228 million years ago. They were characterized by their sleek bodies, wide flippers, and relatively small heads set at the end of a long neck. The teeth of Plesiosaurus were simple, needle-like cones that were slightly curved and circular. There were 20 to 25 teeth per upper jaw tooth row and 24 per lower jaw tooth row. They grew to a length of about 11 feet. Many people mistook it to be a dinosaur, but in reality, Plesiosaurus was not a dinosaur, just a long-necked marine reptile. Today, we are afraid of some little sharks, but imagine if this creature was alive right now. I never would have stepped foot in any ocean. Quetzalcoatlus. Giraffes are big and long, right? Well, imagine if they could swim and decided to become carnivores. <laughs> that, guys, is the modern day presentation of Quetzalcoatlus. These were the largest flying creatures to ever exist. They were limited to the Cretaceous period between 144 and 66 million years ago. They had a wingspan of around 45 feet and weighed approximately 550 pounds. Many theories believe that instead of hunting its own food, the Quetzalcoatlus was a scavenger and waited for an opportunity to feed on the carcasses of sauropods and other dead dinosaurs. The flight of these giants is the most debated feature. It is said that it needed just a few flaps to keep it aloft. They could likely travel nonstop for 16,000 kilometers after launching, only rarely flapping to keep themselves in the air and to steer their path. Mega Piranhas. Even the thought of dozens of little piranhas chumbling on you is enough to invoke fear in the heart. But in prehistoric times, mega piranhas used to roam the waters of South America. These water monsters were thought to be 28 inches in length and 25 pounds in weight. They were approximately 10 times bigger than modern day piranhas, but also wielded their dangerous jaws with an additional order of magnitude of force. The modern black piranha chows down on prey with a bite force of about 70 to 75 pounds per square inch. Helicoprion. Also known as the buzzsaw rat shark, this species of shark became really famous for their spirally arranged clusters of individual teeth, called tooth whorls, which were embedded in the lower jaw. Not only that, their bite force was three times more powerful than a T-Rex. They eventually went extinct during the early Triassic period, some 225 million years ago. Its fossils were mainly found in Russia and in the Western United States, but no other part of the jaw or fish has ever been found. Like other sharks, they didn't shed their teeth. The largest known helicoprion tooth whorls were about 16 inches in diameter. And based on the proportional size of tooth whorls, this might indicate that they could reach up to 16.4 to 26.2 feet in length, approximately the size of basking sharks. That's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching the whole video.